Hey everyone, it's Russell. Thanks for tuning in. Let's dig right into it. So today, we're gonna to be talking about really, really important topics for business owners and leaders, uh, uh, anybody really uh, looking to, uh, to be or already in a leadership sort of role. Next, so we're gonna talk about ensuring your success. Comment like that does not always uh, resonate well with people, but there is a way to ensure your success. There's a few different things that you can do as a leader, as a business owner, to ensure that you have constant and always success. And uh, some of that really comes down to indecision. What I see as a, as a business owner and as a consultant when I work with customers, very often I see that decisions are overthought and people hesitate and they want to plan to their death uh, and they're not really taking action. So one of the biggest things that you'll learn as your business gets uh, bigger or your team gets bigger or as you become more successful is that in a lot of situations, some action, any decision is better than indecision, right? So take an action. If it's the wrong one, you can adjust later. But a lot of times when you don't make a decision now, when you don't act now, when the opportunity presents itself, regardless of whether it's the right or wrong decision, that door tends to close very, very quickly. So to, that, that's just one little piece of ensuring you're always successful. Take action, fix problems later. Yeah, another uh, another big one is uh, that, that, especially on the managerial side, and and you know as well as business owners, because you sometimes you have to report to a board of directors like we do here. Is you need to be able to lead up and down the command of, uh, chain of command, right? So sometimes people think that when they're in a leadership position, they are just in control of the people underneath them, and that's the only power that they have. Really, really good leaders will eventually figure out if they haven't already, if you haven't already, is that it also requires you to manage and lead up the chain of command. So there are times when your boss will tell you something or your, your, your board will tell you something and you can hear it and you should, you should accept their, their criticism or their knowledge or their input. But then at some point in certain situations, you need to say, sorry, that's just not correct. We need to go this direction and do that. Or I hear you, but here's what we need to do and why, right? And so it's very important for, for leaders to lead up and down their chain of command. The last little bit within this whole idea of like ensuring that you always win is discipline. One of the biggest things that I, for me, uh, you know, people will say money buys freedom. Uh, okay, I understand the concept behind that, but in my opinion, discipline buys freedom. If you're organized, if you're very disciplined, if you're in a structure, if you become a robot on paper and you are uh, very efficient, you buy time, you buy yourself, uh, the same decisions are, are going to be made. And as long as you're getting the outputs that you want, you continue making those same decisions and the same process to make those decisions. So working in a very organized and disciplined manner will equal freedom for you. By doing all of these three things, yeah, you can make sure that you always win. Now, of course, the, these three things are not the only thing that are going to guarantee your success, but this is a good start. If you're a new leader, if you're a business owner that, that's hit a plateau and you're looking for something that, that uh, can give you a little bit of an edge, maybe these things can help you. Okay, so we went over three topics today, and I wanna just go ahead and compress this information for you so you have some takeaways, something really easy to just pull it out. The three topics are really simple. Extreme ownership. Everything within your world, you own. So no excuses, it doesn't matter if there's bad, a bad person, there's no such thing as a bad team, they're just bad leaders, right? So it's important to understand, you own everything, good and bad, as a leader, take ownership of that. Number two, decentralized command. Build a system that allows you to have freedom as a leader by allowing ownership of things to other people within your team. So uh, decisions, uh, being able to take action uh, without approval and those sort of things. Build a system that allows for a decentralized sort of management system and decision making tool, right? The third is really simple. Ensure you always win. To do that, make decisions and take action, right? So, some action is better than no action whatsoever. 
The second, and really uh, uh, in that ensure you always win, is leading up and down the chain of command. Yes, you might be in charge of 30 people, and that's fantastic, but if your leader above you needs help and guidance, it is your job as a leader, as a subordinate, to make sure you can lead upwards in that chain of command as well. Okay? Discipline is freedom. Yes, money buys some freedom, but not all of it. Discipline buys the rest. So stay tuned for more content like this and other vital information that will help you as a leader. If you have any suggestions for videos or topics that we should talk about or something that you've read or, or you want clarification on, go ahead and comment below and we'll see if we can't make that video.